I served four and a half years in the RAF. During that time, I met and married a beautiful wife named Blossom. In those war days, I used to appear in concerts, and she used to come to them. She'd tell me where she was sitting, and I'd search for her, and I'd sing songs like these. Darling, I'm so blue without you. I think about you the live long day. If they ask me why I'm lonely, then I've only this to say two, three, four. You'll never know just how much I miss you. You'll never know just how much I care And if I tried I still couldn't hide my love for you You ought to know Haven't I told you so A million or more times Next September the 12th, ladies and gentlemen It's our diamond wedding anniversary I've been married 60 years next year Sounds like sympathy. <laughs> and I married a lovely girl, a lovely girl indeed, and still very much in love with her. And last, on our 50th wedding anniversary, I said, what can we do for a lovely anniversary? She said, let's go back to the camp where we were stationed. I was a WAF, you were an airman, and across the road there was that large pub we used to have a little drink in. And... Um, she said it would be lovely to invite the in-laws and all the people, the kids and everything, people who were still alive who we served with. And I said, what a great idea. We did this and we had a party that went on till about two o'clock that morning. And I was working next day on television, so I had to be up. And we got in the car and we made our way home. This is from Hornchurch. And suddenly my wife said to me, she said, do you remember the first time we kissed? I said, yeah, I do, actually. I said, we'd been to a cinema in Dagenham. There was an air raid, and they put it up on the screen that we must leave the theatre. And we walked back to the camp, and we had to pass a big sort of pharmaceutical firm called Mayhem Bakers. They used to make a thing called M&B Taplins. And as we passed there, we stopped... And that was the first time I kissed her. She said, yeah. She said, in about one minute, we'll be passing there again, just for fun. She said, stop the car, just for fun. Come on. I said, oh, come on. She said, come on. Said, Look, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning. Come on. She said. So I stopped the car. And we walk across the grass verge, right up to this big chain link fence that was there 50 years ago nearly. And as we walk along, she stops me right on the very spot where I first kissed her. Good memory. I said, give me a kiss. I kissed her. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for what happened next. She threw her arms around me. She started biting me. She started tearing my hair, wrapping her legs around me. I said, cut it out, cut it out. I said, if the security comes along, I said, we'll get arrested. So I got her back in the car. She settled down. I said, I know what came over you. I said, you didn't know that sort of energy 50 years ago. She said, 50 years ago, that fence wasn't electrified. She said... <laughs> 